Hi everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at Pi Apps. So this is a Raspberry Pi App Store and you can get apps here that you can't get anywhere else. So let's take a look at how you install these and what is in here. And if you want to be notified of more videos like these, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's get right to the video. So this is Pi Apps right here. So first of all, how do you install these? Well, it's pretty simple. You just run one command in the terminal. I will leave this command link in the description. And I will also leave the link to the GitHub page for Pi Apps. So you basically just run this and it will install it. It doesn't take very long. And then once you have it installed, you can go to your menu. You can go to accessories and Pi Apps. And so then it will load up here. And so there are many apps in here. And so I've covered some of them. Like say we go to internet. I've covered the Puffy and web browser. Maybe they had to remove that or something because I don't see that. That's strange. Anyway, there are some things right here. So the Firefox rapid release, for example. So this is the latest version of Firefox. It's not an outdated ESR version like you normally get. And so, you know, you can install that if you want the latest version. Then Zoom is in here as well. So this, if we take a look at the info, this is actually a app made for Intel processors, but it's inside an emulator, which allows you to use it on the Raspberry Pi. However, the performance is reduced because of that. I have tried this, although I haven't been able to get it to work very well, but that was a long time ago. So I should try that again. But that is for the internet. And also there are some other categories here. So like tools, we have like Belina Etcher. We have these, which are the emulators used in Zoom. We have Commander Pi which is a utility you can use for overclocks and other things like that. I should take a look at that sometime. You have the Snap Store. You have Snapdrop, which is kind of like AirDrop. If we go to iCandy, we have Conky and Conky Rings, things that I like. And so those are like system monitors for the desktop. And so we also have Lightpad, which is like Launchpad on the Mac kind of. We have U Launcher, which is like Spotlight Search. We have a Windows 10 theme and many things like that. Editors, we have like some code editors. We have Kira, which is a slicer. We have the Arduino application. So this is the latest version. It's not the outdated version like what's in the repos. And we have like Sublime Text, Visual Studio Code, things like that that are very useful. So in this app store, there are tons of useful apps. I definitely recommend that you install these on your Raspberry Pi and check out the apps in it. See what you like. And I will be making videos on some of the apps in here. Until next time, we will see you next time. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. Uh...